What's up guys? Okay, want to make a quick video. Uh, what I want to talk about is I want to explain to you what you would need to do um, kind of in a fast version uh, what the numbers are that you would have to do in order to make profit $1,000 a week uh, at 40 hours a week on eBay. So, and the reason why I picked that is because most people would be happy with making profit $1,000 a week. Uh, $52,000 a year after taxes sounds great. Okay, so the easiest way for me to explain this to you guys, and, and the point of this video is simply to make get you to understand why I do not uh, mess with items that don't bring a certain amount of profit. That's why I do all big items and I'm going to break this down for you and explain it to you uh, and hopefully convince you guys that you really don't want to waste your time with small profit items uh, because the timing factor is the biggest part of this business. Once you understand that, once you figure out that, hey, wait, I need to be thinking about the time. That's how I make the money here. You gotta eliminate uh, things that are wasting time. You've got to uh, maximize your time, and you've got to go for the right items uh, to also maximize the time. So, because just like almost any business, uh, it really narrows down to this. So what I'll do is I'll give you an example. Let's say you want to make a thousand dollars a week profit. Okay, not very, not hard to do, guys. Uh, it is when you're first getting started, but after you do a few simple things and you narrow it down and you know what niche you're in, what niche you're in or you just stick to uh, the numbers game that I like to call it, uh, you don't really get into a niche, uh, you just stick with the numbers and you're watching the numbers and you're going off uh, probability and percentage of making X amount of profit considering all the uh, things going into it. Which is kind of hard to exp to paint a picture for you just by saying that, but let me give you this example. Okay, thousand dollars a week, and we'll say forty hours a week. Okay, um, it would take me forever to go into every single detail that would add up to the time for this, but let's just break that down. Okay, that is twenty five dollars an hour. Okay, forty hours a week to make. Uh, $1,000 profit, you need to profit $25 an hour, right? Okay, so when we're sourcing items, we all know that you can't really, you can't really say how long it takes to source an item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to time it out. I'm going, going to say, to average it out, each item takes five minutes to find. Sometimes we find a big bulk lot of things in five minutes. There's also times that we make a trip to Goodwill or a yard sale and we don't get anything and we just wasted 30 minutes. So just, and this is just, this is being very generous to this idea. Let's say it takes five minutes to find each item. And honestly, uh, especially when you're first getting started, I think it, it takes a little bit more than that, but we'll just say five minutes. And then if you do, if you guys do listings, you know, and especially when you're first getting started, um, most good listings with 12 pictures, with good pic good quality pictures, uh, is going to take you 15 minutes. And that, that's if you've got a good rhythm down and you know what you're doing. Now, there are different situations that could be different, but for when we're picking things and they're random items and they're not brand new, it's going to take about 15 minutes. You got to just, you got to go into details. You got to picture the flaws. You got to uh, write out the flaws in the description, and it's just a little more difficult than selling brand new stuff. Brand new stuff, you can probably knock that number down a little bit. So right now we're at 20 minutes, and then uh, each item. So especially if you ship bigger stuff, it's going to take you longer than five minutes to. Um, wrap this stuff up sometimes the water heater i sold the other day it took me i don't know 25 minutes to to get that thing ready to go uh, from start to finish 25 minutes to have it wrapped up and everything so just to give you an idea um some thing, some things take a long time other things i can do in you know one minute um that's that's grabbing the item putting it in a uh, poly mailer and slapping a label on it and then stick it in my pile ready to go to the post office. And then if you factor in the time 
that you do go to the post office and then factor in the time that you do go source items and the drive time and all that stuff we're not even really getting into that but um, we're saying five minutes that's the average to ship an item five minutes okay um, and then so that'll take us to 20 minutes total for one item so five minutes to source it uh, 15 minutes to list it with pictures and five minutes to ship it um, also kind of trying to factor in that we're, we, we've got to take it somewhere to get uh, dropped off <coughs> and the drive time and the wait in the whatever so 20 minutes okay for one item all right and we said we needed to make $25 an hour profit in order to make a thousand dollars profit a week so then what we're we have to then in order to do that we need to um, we need to ha do three items an hour okay three items an hour because um, that adds up to 60 minutes uh, three three items so what do we do we break that down all right so on each item we need to make a profit of eight dollars and thirty cents okay guys so you should not be wasting your time unless the only exception is if it's a quantity if you have quantity then you can then you can get the item if you can't profit eight dollars and thirty cents on it don't even bother with it you're wasting your time um, unless you don't care about making uh, a full-time living on uh, reselling but so that's the point the point is uh, you want to look for we can't waste our time with things that only make us ten dollar ten dollar profit uh, in order to make a ten dollar profit most of the time you're gonna need to get let's just say you get the item for ten bucks you're gonna need to sell it for thirty because you have to factor in uh, the, all the expenses gas you know you guys know the expenses everything and then you have to factor in taxes at the end of the year so I do not go after anything that I don't make at least $20 profit on. And that's, I stick to that rule. That's a rule that I stick to. I'm not in any sort of niche. I know a lot about a little, I know a little about a lot, a lot and uh, I just run the numbers on everything, guys. I, I do the research on each item. I run the numbers on it. I look at the comps, I look at the demand, I look at the supply available for sale and I make a decision on what profit I think I can make and I either get it or I move on and I do this quickly and it's totaled up to where I can do these kind of numbers now so just keep that in mind guys I know that's kind of really hard to I, I should have a paper for you all showing you guys that but I ho hopefully you got something out of it take care